Hi, welcome back to the R2 101 series where I walk you through everything you need to know about R2. In the last video, we covered the basics of R2 and went through the setup process. If you haven't watched it yet, be sure to check it out. In this video, I'll walk you through how to set up public buckets in R2. By default, R2 buckets are private and requires explicit permission to enable public access. Public buckets allow anyone on the internet to access your bucket content. We'll continue using the podcast application example. Every episode I upload should be publicly accessible to listeners around the world. So I'll show you how to configure a bucket for public access. There are two ways to set up public access for your R2 bucket. First, as a custom domain. If you have a domain you like to connect to your bucket, like readytolisten.com, this option gives you more control over how your content is assessed and managed. This may be because you want to set up firewall rules to protect your content from malicious traffic, caching to reduce latency, or access controls to restrict who can view or download your files. You can even use bot management to block automated traffic and prevent unauthorized scraping of your content. To set up a custom domain, navigate to the R2 dashboard and assess your buckets. Go to the settings section. Under public access, choose custom domain. Initiate the connection for a domain. Enter the domain name you want to use and select proceed. Preview the DNS record and finalize the domain connection. Once enabled, your bucket content will be accessible through the specified domain. And if needed, you can always disable or delete the domain later through the custom domain settings in your dashboard. If you prefer a simpler setup, you can expose your bucket through a Cloudflare managed subdomain. This will make your content publicly accessible via an R2.dev subdomain. To enable this, access your buckets that you want to modify in R2, navigate to the settings section and on the public access, locate the R2.dev subdomain option and enable access. Confirm your choice by typing in allow. And once that's done, your bucket and its objects are now accessible via the public bucket URL provided. If you need to disable public access, follow the same steps, navigate to the public access settings and disable access by confirming and entering disallow. This action will remove public access, making your bucket and its object private again. Now you're set up to make your R2 bucket publicly accessible, either to a custom domain or a Cloudflare managed subdomain. If you'd like to learn more about public buckets, go ahead and check out our documentation. Links are included in the description box below. In the next video, I'll show you how to use S3 API commands and tools with R2. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.